friends welcome to tarun ias today we will be discussing daily current affairs of 5th of december 2022 so let's start with the news today we will be discussing five news the first one is central adoption resource authority we'll discuss the news from the economic section of the newspaper the zombie virus andromeda galaxy and galactic cannibalism and samruddhi corridor so let us see the central adoption resource authority now basically the cara has organized 700 meetings with the 700 prospective adopting parents in 10 states in its orientation program now if we speak about the cara then it is a statutory body under the ministry of women and child development it is the central authority that deals with the inter country adoption as per the provisions of the hague convention that was ratified by india in the year 2003 this convention deals with the inter country adoption and cara is the statutory body and responsible and overlooks the adoption pr procedures and rules and regulations in india so it deals with the adoptions of the orphans abandoned and surrendered children through its association and recognized adoption agencies so in india a child can be placed with a family under the hindu adoption and maintenance act of the year 1956 the guardians and wards act of 1890 and juvenile justice act of the year 2000 the mandatory registration the cara which is the central adoption resource authority also looks the registration of the child care institutions in india and it also have been provided with the with the implementation of the juvenile justice care and protection of children act of the year 2015 so those child care institutions which have been linked with the juvenile justice act of the year 2015 are overlooked by the central adoption resource authority the next news of the day is the economy today so of 5th of december i have taken these news from the indian express and it is about the consumer price index now consumer price index it fell from 7.41% year on year in september to 6.77% in october and the food inflation fell even more from 8.60% to 7.01 percentage now the point here is that cpi index which is the consumer price index it has declined now let us see what consumer price index is basically consumer price index it measures the overall change in the consumer prices based on the representation baskets of goods and services over time so this is important from your prelims perspective that consumer price index it measures the cpi so basically cpi is a measure of your inflation so it measures inflation in goods and services so it measures inflation that means uh, the cpi it is the most widely measure of inflation that is used by the policy makers the financial markets experts and the businessmen and business persons sorry to be general neutral business persons and also consumers so now let us look at more information from the prelims perspective from the prelims perspective cpi the first point that you should remember is released by the national statistical office and there are sub groups in cpi the cpi is released for the industrial workers it is released for the agricultural workers it is released for the rural laborers and it is also released for the combined right now the point here is that these are not released by the same institution or same organization the cpi that is consumer price index is for the industrial worker agriculture worker and rural workers is released by the labor bureau and the base year is 2012 however for the combined that is cpi combined is released by mosby that is ministry of statistical and program implementation in the year 2016 base year for the cp uh, sorry recently recently uh, the base year for the cpi industrial worker has been changed to the year 2016 so base year for rest of the index is 2012 however for the industrial workers it is 2016 so cpi is used by the monetary policy committee to control inflation and in the year 2014 the rbi adopted consumer price index as its key measure of inflation so therefore consumer price index becomes important from our 
prelims perspective so i'll move on to the next news of the day which is about the zombie virus now french scientists they have warned of the onset of another break after they reviewed a 48500 year old zombie virus that was buried under a frozen lake in russia so they have warned of the another outbreak of the zombie virus now let us look at what this zombie virus is basically there are 13 new pathogens which have been given the name zombie virus and they remained infectious despite despite spending many millennia trapped in the frozen ground now the term zombie virus it comes from this phenomena that that the dead dead people that dead people they rise from their grave rise from their grave now after being trapped in uh, you know for millions of years they still have their well uh, they still have their what we called as viru virulity you know virulence virulence sorry the term is virulence so that means how uh, potential what the the potential that they have for to cause infection that is called as virulence the virulence so still they have retained their infectious capacity so that is why they are termed as zombie virus the the virus emerged due to the thawing of permafrost now when we speak of the permafrost it is basically the frozen soil or the frozen land it is basically the frozen land for two or more years so this is what is known as permafrost now with the climate change and global warming we know that there are incidents of thawing thawing of permafrost that means melting of the melting of the snow which is trapped in between the soil so now after the rise in the temperature because of the global warming the temperature of the the average temperature of the earth would rise and this would result into into the change in the climatic condition of the earth this would make the make some of the pathogens enhance their virulence potential their infectious potential their disease causing potential right so if we know that majority of the diseases especially the neglected tropical diseases they are more prevalent in the tropical and subtropical areas now with the rise in the temperature of the earth or with the global warming the overall temperature is going to increase this will cause this will cause some of the pathogens to show their potential or disease causing potential so that is why the french scientists they warned of the zombie virus 13 new strains have been of viruses have been identified which possesses their its genome so the oldest the the pandora virus yedoma after the mythological character pandora so basically um it uh, it's kind of uh, you know have been a parallel has been drawn with the with the mythological character pandora and the virus has been named yedoma which is approximately 48500 years old a record age for a frozen virus returning to a state where it has the potential to infect other organism so the oldest virus which have been identified has been named as yedoma after the mythological character pandora so pandora virus yedoma which is 48000 years old and still it has the disease causing potential so this has broken the previous record by a so there was one, another virus which was identified by a team in siberia in the year 2013 which was 30000 years old and now yedoma has is an is 48500 years old which is even older than the, than the one which was identified in the year 2013 so when we say you know if if this is the earth then this is the northern this is 0 degree that is equator now this is northern hemisphere it is one third one quarter sorry which is one fourth of the northern hemisphere it is permanently frozen ground that is why it is called as permafrost right now this irreversible thawing of permafrost it is releasing organic matter the frozen organic matter and it also releases 
also releases now we know the decomp the process of decomposition it decreases it decreases at low temperature decreases at low temperature so thus the carbon dioxide and methane which are released after thawing of the permafrost they are enhancing the greenhouse effect which is then causing the climate warming and thus resulting into more thawing of permafrost and therefore it is uh, it is it is actually causing the rise of the zombie virus this part of this organic matter it just uh, it consists of the cellular microbes such as prokaryotes the unicellular eukaryotes as well as the viruses that remain dormant since prehistoric times or since the time the uh, this land was frozen so all of these zombie virus they have the potential to be to be infectious they can cause diseases and they pose a health danger they pose a health danger and if we believe that the pandemics like covid-19 will become more common then in the future the melting of permafrost will release the long dormant viruses so this is this is the health concern the next news of the day is about the andromeda galaxy and galactic cannibalism so scientists uh, discovered by studying a star cluster in andromeda galaxy that andromeda andromeda may be a cosmic cannibal now let us talk about what this cannibal is cannibal means and cannibal is adjective and cannibalism is a verb right now cannibalism cannibalism it it defines a phenomena where an organism eats or consumes the the individual from the same species or from or belonging to the same uh, species right or family so this is what cannibalism is in frog cannibalism has been seen in shark cannibalism has been seen so for example if i take this example of shark then in shark womb if there are two or more two or more baby shark growing then the one baby shark which grows the fastest eats the other shark eats the other younger shark or or weaker shark right so this is a kind of a phenomena which is called as cannibalism so you've understood cannibalism now let us see what this andromeda galaxy is and what this galactic cannibalism means basically a galaxy eats the other galaxy and in other words it consumes or it absorbs the other galaxy so the dulai structure is a it is a stream of um, stars in andromeda is a galaxy and there is a black stream in black stream of stars in andromeda so the dulai structure is dark stream illuminated by star clusters that orbits unlike other clusters in andromeda right this means the star clusters they are basically leftovers of a massive feeding event which is called as galactic cannibalism so what does the writer is trying to i mean what what this exactly means the essence of it that basically the dulai structure which is present in the andromeda ga andromeda galaxy is basically describes an event which is called as galactic cannibalism so because they they orbit the andromeda galaxy unlike the other clusters so thus so thus they are they are leftovers of an event called galactic cannibalism that means when andromeda galaxy might have eaten up or consumed the other galaxy so there were some leftovers left so there were leftovers this dulai structure is basically the leftover so basically galactic cannibalism implies the feeding event of a galaxy in which the larger galaxy consumes the smaller galaxy or the globular galaxy in order to grow an andromeda galaxy it is also known as the messier 31 it is the nearest major galaxy to the milky way which is the which is the which is our galaxy spiral in its shape in which our earth resides so basically now this andromeda is also a spiral galaxy it dates back to 2.5 million light years from earth i'm sorry it, it distance um, light year basically is for measure measure the uh, astronomical distances so it is 2.5 million light years away from earth 
it is the largest galaxy of the local group which also contains some other galaxy like milky way triangulum galaxy and other small galaxies so we have understood andromeda galaxy and we have also understood the galactic cannibalism and we understand that what structure basically uh, signifies or evidence uh, gives evidence of the galactic cannibalism now let us move on to the next news and it is about the samruddhi corridor see prime minister will organize or inaugurate on 10th of december sorry 11th of december samruddhi corridor the first phase of the samruddhi corridor which is a 701 km which is also known as the hindu hrudaya samrat bala sahab thakre maharashtra samruddhi mahamarg right so this is the another name and in short it is called as samruddhi corridor so basically samruddhi corridor is going to be an express way which is going to reduce the time taken from um, time taken between nagpur and mumbai which currently takes 17 hours and it will reduce it to 7 hours the project has an outlay of rupees 55335 crore and it runs across the 10 districts it is going to be a six lane access controlled road designed for a top speed of 150 km per hour the second express way it is going to be the uh, is this going to be the second express way after the mumbai pune express way so there there is mumbai pune express way in maharashtra pune and now there is going to be a link to mumbai nagpur and this is this is going to be known as samruddhi corridor and this samruddhi corridor is going to have link with the delhi mumbai express way and it will also link itself to the jawahar lal nehru port so as to have better interland connectivity with the coastal areas it is going to facilitate the rapid transportation of goods agri and agriculture products and other sources it is going to directly impact the 36 percentage of the state's population that is maharashtra and it is going to be the country's most extensive green field route that means over 11 lakh trees will be planted on both the sides and by green field means that it is basically a new corridor an old or corridor is not being refurbished or rejuvenated right so now another important point about samruddhi corridor is that it passes through the three wildlife sanctuary the first is kate purna wildlife sanctuary in akola the karan jasohol black bug sanctuary in washim the tansa wildlife sanctuary in thane maharashtra state development corporation officer they have also tied up with the wildlife institute of india and they have also obtained the required prerequisites uh, of environmental clearances before the civil work was taken up so that's it for today thank you so much for watching tarun ias if you want to download the pdf of this session you can go to the telegram channel link will be given in the description below have a nice day